I think I've got a quiet moment here between the airplanes, the trains, uh, there's a crane around the corner. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to another one of these things. Today I'm in Toronto's distillery district. I'm usually here testing out new camera equipment and today is no exception. I finally got myself the Sony a6700. Yes, as well as the Sony 15mm f1.4. I'll be pitting that in my head sort of against my Sigma 16mm f1.4 because I'm gonna have to sell one of the two lenses. It'll probably be the Sigma, a little bit more on that later. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I'm reinventing myself. I'm me and nobody else. Ooh, I can't help but smile. I'm normally hungry after tapas, but if you're a fan, Madrina does have a Michelin star. 80,000 gallons of whiskey was produced here every year, mostly for local consumption, and the distillation continues now with the spirit of York. The crazy number of languages on these locks give you an idea of the visitors. This young woman was visiting from Italy. These two models on a photo shoot and another photo shoot. Flexing that F1.4. Very sharp condos, in my opinion. Ever get the feeling someone's watching you? This young woman was shooting a vlog. Very stylishly put together. Balzac's coffee, very good choice. The Mill Street Brew Pub. These lanterns are at the entrance of El Catrine, very good restaurant. Some more of the world's action happening. Over 1600 movies and 2400 productions have been shot at the distillery. Yours truly was here as a Callahan's auto parts worker in the 1995 comedy Tommy Boy. Hey, here we are at the Humble Studio. Those eagle-eyed among you probably noticed that some of those photos I just showed you had a blue sky and some of them had cloudy skies. Well, it turns out that that shoot thing I did at the distillery ended up running into two days. I ended up going back there yesterday and yesterday was a bit cloudy. Um, I, I would have preferred both days to be cloudy, actually, shooting in uh, with clear skies and bright sunlight. Um, not a not a fan of that. I like a little bit more of a diffuse light. It would have been nice if I had a couple days of um, of the clouds. But anyway, uh, it ended up running into two days because that intro took me so long. It always feels like the world's working against me when I'm doing anything with audio. Uh, why I'm doing this video? Uh, so my kit's obviously gone on a on a weight loss uh, on a weight loss program because of this guy right here. The a6700 finally I've got my hands on this like, as I mentioned before and uh, I'm normally shooting with the FX30 which I'm shooting with right now I am keeping the FX30 it is staying put I'm not one to collect cameras or anything like that I'm, I'm a bit of a minimalist that way I I, I I don't keep any extra equipment around. They're tools as far as I'm concerned and if I'm not using them I'm getting rid of them. I have to keep the FX30 uh, I've been doing a lot of my paid work with it, so it's going to stay put. This here will uh, be the content creation, uh, you know, machine for the channel, uh, for the most part, at least when I'm, I'm outside, uh, traveling around the city or whatever, or actually traveling, traveling like on our vacations when I'm doing my travel films and things like that, it'll be this camera here. Because this is significantly lighter than the FX30, and it's got all the photo features too, which, wow, uh, was I ever missing having something with the photo features. This is great because it's got the mechanical shutter. Of course, for long form video content, the FX30 makes a lot more sense because it's got the fans and, you know, people have run into uh, overheating problems with this. I'm not gonna be shooting any long form content with this. It's, you know, going to be pretty short clips and most of them will be at uh, 24 FPS anyways. On the topic of weight loss, this lens, the 15 mil F1.4 from Sony, it's sort of a sensitive topic that I am getting rid of this. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, 
uh, I'll likely be getting rid of this and that uh, is the case. I am getting rid of the Sigma 16 f1.4 and I know a lot of you out there have been shooting with this lens and many people have a soft spot for this lens as I do as well. I've owned this lens a couple times. I am getting rid of it once again. Uh, because there's really no reason to have a 16 and a 15. Optical quality, they're very comparable, although the 15 does rely more on the in-camera corrections. The barrel distortion on this is quite heavy compared to this, so sometimes there is a little bit more corner softness, I think, probably in this lens, but uh, sometimes this lens is sharper in some cases than this lens depending on where you've got your aperture and what part of the frame you're looking at. Optically very comparable lenses these two and um, but this is half the weight of this approximately and uh, although this is a lot more expensive mind you I bought this from someone in Japan used. If any of you are um, on the fence about maybe buying this uh, don't be um, it is fantastic and if uh, you've got the budget for one of these and weight's a concern then you know go with that uh, but otherwise um, stick with the Sigma if you're shooting APS-C or if you've got a camera like the a7 IV that um, shoots 60 FPS in a crop uh, you're gonna want one of these too. I'm very excited about the future content I'll be creating with this new camera I hope you guys stick around for that. Hopefully you all got something out of this one as usual. If so, consider leaving me a thumbs up. If not, that's okay too. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of these in the future, consider subscribing and turning on those notifications. If you've got any ideas for uh, future episodes, please leave those in the comments below. Until next time, keep working to make your chosen idea a reality. Peace.